Hello, I'm Denchi, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install tablet drivers for your Vake tablet on a Linux machine. So let me explain what the issue here is. If I open up something like Krita and I plug in my Vake tablet and I try to draw, you'll notice that there's no pressure sensitivity. Despite the fact that I've set, you know, a brush that's supposed to use pressure sensitivity, so this one over here, there is none. I try to draw and there's none. So we're going to have to install a great community-made driver. And we can get that on GitHub over here. It's made by JLAM55555. And it's really easy to install. It's really simple to get. And it works really, really well. It's written very efficiently in a, you know, a good programming language. It's all excellent. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do that. The first thing you're going to want is obviously you know, open your terminal. And I wrote a little guide on how to do this in Kate. I'm going to have this all in the description if you, you know, want to reference it later or want to copy paste commands and stuff like that. So the first thing before we even think of installing them, we have to get three packages or three things. Git, Linux headers, and the build tools for your distribution. So Git's really easy to install. If you're on Debian or Ubuntu, so Debian-based distributions like Ubuntu and that kind of stuff, things like Linux Mint and Pop! OS and all of this stuff, you can do sudo apt get install git. Or you can do sudo apt get install Linux headers uh, for the Linux headers and sudo apt get install build essentials for the build essentials. Remember to type this at the end of the Linux headers so you get the version specified for the kernel you are running, which is chances are not the latest one if you're on a Debian or Ubuntu based distribution like Pop! OS and stuff. The kernel will normally be a little bit older and that's why you have to specify. Uh, if you're on Arch or Manjaro or anything based off Arch or Manjaro, you can do sudo pacman s git, so I'll actually do that because I'm on uh, Arch Linux at the moment. So we can run that command. Then also Linux headers. And we're also going to install base devil. Now base developer or devil contains all of the packages we need to make things and you know produce programs. So that's really easy to install. Basically spam enter when you want to install that kind of stuff. So once you have all of these three packages installed, we can actually get the drivers. Now we're going to clone this repository. So essentially download all the stuff to our computer. Now in the terminal, if you're already in the terminal, chances are you're in your home directory. You press ls, we'll type ls and press enter. You'll notice that it lists everything in your home directory. So that's this directory over here, these folders over here in your home directory. Uh, so we're going to git clone, and then this, this is the link to the um, actual, you know, drivers, the GitHub repository over here. So we're going to git clone that. Uh, we're going to press enter and it's going to essentially download them. So if we go back to where we were, as you can see, there's a new folder called Vake Linux Driver. So this is Vake Linux Driver. Now, if you want to clear the terminal, you can do Control L or you can type in clear and it will clear it for you. Now we're going to ls again. And as you can see, there's Vake Linux Driver over here in our directory. We're going to change directory or CD into Vake Linux Driver. And we're in there now. We ls. There's all these things over here. Now, as part of the install guide, you should run the following commands. We're gonna make the package first, make. And it made it. And now we're going to sudo make all install clean. So this will actually compile it and install it to our system. This might take a while. Okay, so you'll notice that if I were to open up Krita and I were to draw again, now I have pressure sensitivity because I've installed the drivers. So thank you for watching this tutorial on how to install the Vake Linux drivers on your Linux machine. If you're having any problems or any errors or anything like that, please feel free to consult the Discord server linked in the description or the Element community linked in the description or the GitHub page and the issues page on that GitHub page. And you can open up an issue and check if there, you know, there's already somebody who had your problem and maybe it was already solved or something like that. I want to mention that if you are on Arch Linux, you could install Install the Vake Linux drivers straight off the AUR. They're a package over here, input Vake DKMS, and all they do is automatically install all the stuff and you know automatically compiles it and installs it. It's it's not that hard to do on Arch Linux. But you know, this method that I just showcased should work on pretty much every single Linux distribution. So thanks for watching. The reason I remade this tutorial is because people were having a little bit of uh, issues. I might not have specified the fact that you had to install the build tools and all that stuff in the original tutorial. So uh, I guess thanks for watching and goodbye. Thank you.